Hello and welcome to the Build with Bear workshop. My name is Pat Bear. I'm here to build model kit and put a lot of stickers on it because this kit's got stickers, y'all. We have so many stickers left to put on this thing, um, but it's going to be fun. And we're going to do some water transfer, uh, some water slides as well. Um, if you're currently watching the stream right now, you're here in the chat, you can throw the Bear Cave emote in there or the Lego emote. Let me know you're here or if you're not currently a subscriber, you can just say hi or throw in a moat from another stream, or whatever. Um, as always, we will, uh, Leo's here, hi Leo. Uh, we will hang out um, uh, to see if a few more folks wanna join us, you know, the the, uh, the pre-show uh, here, um, the intro. Um, Dude Wants His Rug is here, hello, hello. But yeah, uh, Saturday we had a great turnout, I was very happy about that. Uh, Harold is hosting the stream, thank you Harold for hosting, always appreciate that. Um, uh, but yeah, um, you know, it's a Monday. Sometimes it's a, a kind of a light night. Monday could be light, but, um, I'm excited. It's going to be fun. Uh, as I said, we do have some water decals to transfer. Um, I have pre-cut some of them. They are cut, so they should pull off pretty easily. Um, but, uh, we've got some smaller ones, not that big one to put on here. Uh, we've got to put, uh, the, uh the smaller symbol uh uh gav is here hi gav welcome harold's here yeah throwing the emotes in there thank you all so much for hanging out like i said we're gonna wait a couple minutes see if anybody else wants to join us before we get into it into the build um so we did a little bit of this build um on saturday and uh oh, this is yellow so it it, it is uh shows it there oh uh so gav just resubbed with uh twitch prime that's four months let's throw the bear cave emote in there thank you very much and a reminder folks if you do want to um resubscribe make sure you hit that notification button so we know we can say thank you for that also if you've never subscribed before if you watch it on youtube and you're on twitch and you haven't subscribed this is the best time to do it if you've never subscribed with paid money you want to do it in september because it's the month where you get cheaper subscriptions Converting your subscription from a uh, Twitch Prime to a paid, cheap. Uh, renewing a, or uh, converting a gift into a paid one, cheap. Gifting someone, uh, original price. Twitch Prime, free, because you pay for Twitch. Uh, or you pay for uh, Amazon Prime anyway. And that goes up, but you keep paying it because, you know, you get enough things in the mail. And the two-day shipping is worth it. And like... You tell yourself you're going to watch something on Amazon Prime. You got Amazon Prime. Well, there's an anime on Amazon Prime. Oh, I'll check that out. You don't, but you tell yourself you will. Um, uh, Love is Hard for Otaku is the anime series to watch on Amazon Prime. If you, ha if you uh, have Amazon Prime and you're like, I don't watch anime on there. Uh, that's the one I recommend. It's from seasons ago, but it is a very fun romantic comedy show. Uh, about relationships, but also a bunch of nerds, just a bunch of nerds, and they're different ner kinds of nerds. They've got some similarities, but some stuff, and it's just friendship and relationships, and it's good. It's a good show. Uh, Love is Hard for Otaku. That's my recommendation for a Amazon Prime series to watch. Uh, or uh, the uh, Don Machi uh, um, side story, uh, Sword of Something or Other. Uh, but uh, is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon has a side series um, that's that's on Amazon. It was on Amazon Strike. Remember that? Y'all remember when Amazon was like, we're going to have our own, we're going to have our own channels that you pay extra. Not just your Twitch, Pro, not just your Amazon Prime. You pay extra. They had two channels. They had a Bollywood movie channel and TV. Uh and they had, uh, sorry, check this here. Uh, and then they also had Anime Strike. And now all that's just on Amazon Prime. So anything that was on Anime Strike, you just watch. Uh, and there's a few things that are pretty cool. Uh, I don't have anything right now. Lashbrook's here. Hi, Lashbrook. I don't have anything right now that I'm watching on Amazon Prime. But uh, I always check. And uh, a new season awaits us in just a couple weeks. We will have new anime. Things are slowing down. This week, we're going to get the last of uh, Isekai Cheat Magicians and Demon uh, Demon Lord Retry is going to end. Uh, 
uh, I think Demon Slayer is on episode 24. I don't know how much uh, they were going to take a break or finish up. I want to check that out right now before we get into the build of it. Uh, see how many episodes they said the anime is going to be. Uh, da, 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 da. Now it's the English dub. Five is the screen theatrically. Da, da, da. I know there's at least one more. It's ongoing, but I don't know if it's like a double season. Uh, I do know that uh, Demon Slayer is coming to uh, Adult Swim uh, in October, which is pretty rad. It's good for them. Uh, I want to see this here. Uh, this is my favorite. Oh, 26 episodes. Okay, so there's two more from Demon Slayer. But yeah, uh, a bunch of series that I watch are wrapping up uh, their first season. Uh, Ari Fuerte, I think, has more because it skipped a week. Um, and I don't know what's going to happen with Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon Season 2? Because, like, it, felt, it feels like the last episode was the end of the season and there'd be one more. But I think that was episode 10. So, uh, I'm going to look that up. Again, another me looking stuff up. So, that's always fun. When you're like, oh, well, let me check that out. Anime. Uh, oh, show me. Yeah, that was episode. Okay, yeah, that was episode uh, um, 10. And it says uh, there's an army coming. So, again, one would assume there are 12 episodes or 13 episodes of season two. So, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Stuff could happen. But, yeah, series are winding down. New series are starting. It's time to catch up on stuff that you've been behind on. It's time to start that series that you were like, eh, I don't know if I want to watch that. And then you hear from your friends that this shit is good and you should be watching it. Uh... Yeah, you know, it's that time of, of year. Uh, it sounds like there's a bunch of cool stuff coming out in October. I'm excited about some of it. Some of it I'm sure that won't be good, and I will stop watching it. Um, anyway, we got some folks here in the chat. Uh, reminder to renew your uh, subs if you need to do that. Uh, hit that notification. If you're a Twitch Prime user, you got to manually renew. Uh, and you want to do that, cool to see my cameo uh, in your PAX video, says Leo. Oh, nice. Uh, were you, uh, I, I assume, Leo, that you were in one of uh, the panning shots? Uh, Christian's here. Hi, Christian. Hey, Ultron. Welcome. Uh, yeah, I assumed, Leo, that you were in, like, either 404-ing it, uh, Pan, uh, or the uh, video I took at the uh, Giant Bomb panel, I assume, because uh, I know you were out. Um, yeah, uh, that's always fun. Both, actually. Well, there you go, Leo. So, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Look, I pop. Uh, Graham Stark uh, is starting to put up his uh, his stuff from PAX East. And in one, I'm just like in the background talking. And I'm like, that's fun. It's fun that I'm in there. Uh, and in fact, someone was like, hey, can you tell me who that is? Because they have a shirt that I want to know more about, which was very funny. Uh, but then in the last one, I'm actually like talking because the beach uh, three happened. Just finished watching... Drew and Vinny play Star Citizen and Man of Medan. Uh, Star Citizen seems like a big old mess. Yeah, look, here's the thing. This is on the internet right now and will be recorded and will be on YouTube. So I'm not going to talk about Star Citizen because I can't take that heat. If you love Star Citizen, and if you don't love Star Citizen, I don't know. I choose to not know anything. Hello, Huck. Welcome. Uh, let's go to the overhead shot. Um, uh, but yeah, if you if you don't watch, uh, Graham Stark has a um, part of the Loading Ready run uh, is Graham does videos that uh, um, he does a lot of log video stuff for when they travel and go to conventions and that kind of stuff. He has some stuff for other things as well. But um, uh, a thing happened where uh, Beege from Loading Ready Run he has a particular outfit that he wears at every convention. It's his gim gimmick gear. It's it, this weird... Graham's cool. Graham is very cool. I'm a big fan. And uh, Graham is a, is a friend. Um, but uh, B 
Beach from Loading Ready Run wears this elaborate outfit that's like, it's these pants and, and a lot of stuff has a Canadian symbolism on it and it's somewhat Japanese inspired and a lot of nonsense. But where the beach, uh, the three says uh, Harold indeed. And two people, a couple, they cosplayed as beach. And that's in a video. And um, I think my reaction is pretty funny in the moment on video. Uh, but in reality, it was very unnerving. Um, it's rare that you see someone cosplaying as someone who is also there doing their thing, being themselves. Uh, it was, it, yeah. And also, like like I say in the video, like it was a couple days in the back. I think that was Saturday. So I was already like kind of tired kind of out of it and that freaked me out because it was people cosplaying as beach as beach and it's, it's a lot it's a it's a look it's just a lot all right we only have four more window stickers to put on the thing with these um a uh, one piece kits if you missed the other stream that i did uh thursday and saturday uh i started working on and completing the thousand sunny kit um, which is a great kit, uh, and this one, but the thing is with these kits, these Bandai kits is they are high grades, but have a lot of detail and their details, uh, 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 are very sticker based. Did you see that Bill, uh, Amend was, was in Bandland? Yes. So he has been doing packs. So here's the thing, this very odd thing that happened. Uh, a mutual appreciation society happened between Bill and the Penny Arcade gentleman, uh, and Penny Arcade as a brand. Um, they realized that like, hell, he goes to Comic Cons, and at some point, someone sent an offer like, "Hey, if you want a table, because uh, you're doing some kind of project with us, and you know, whatever." Because he goes to the comic conventions, so he started doing that, and it's it's weird because I've tabled next to Bill. And that's a weird thing. It's a very strange uh, part of the whole experience. So he's just in Bandlands or Brandlands, you know, if they're at, uh, if you're at PAX Unplugged, just tabling, selling books. He's got uh, he's in Penny Arcade. He's got some Penny Arcade pins, uh, and it's Leo. It's weird. Uh, and also, you you hear a lot of the same things of like people like like yourself would be like didn't know. You just didn't know. And you're like, wait, what? Why? But I grew up reading your comics and I've never met a comic strip writer before. Like a Sunday funnies before. Because that's the thing, right? It's not weird to see um, like Tim Schaefer walking the show floor at PAX. That's not weird because it's PAX. So Tim Schaefer is going to be there. He goes to a lot of PAXs. That 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 makes sense. Him walking around. You suddenly realize you're in line for a coffee behind Tim Schaefer. It's weird, but it's not weird. Even Pat Rothfuss, who like, uh, I remember a friend of mine had come to PAX uh, with their fiance and like didn't know what PAX was and like came to my panels and was like, what is this? I don't know what this is. But then they were like, wait, 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 why the fuck is Patrick Rothfuss here? He writes books that I love. He's an author. Why is it? Because he didn't, uh, they didn't know uh, the that that Rothfuss is in, involved in all this nonsense. Like, it's weird. Sometimes, sometimes it's weird. Uh, when, when somebody who's a little from the outside or also because like, you know, there aren't a lot of artists. Like, it's not a, the, the, one of the ideas of it, of the show overall was they, they never wanted PAX to feel like a Comic-Con. Um, because they have a lot of artist friends, which is why, um, there were times where band lands were full of artist friends and it felt weird. Now it's Chris is there. Scott is there sometimes, although sometimes Scott is on the show floor. 
Uh, Scott Kurtz is there, kind of, and I'm not going to say anything about that. Uh, we're just going to move on. Um, but, you know, Chris Straub is there, and then occasionally somebody else from Strip Search, the uh, reality show thing that they did, uh, will show up and be in in, in Bandland uh, or Brandland. And it's, like, not weird, but it is weird. Uh, it is a weird part of the whole thing. So I have kind of ruined this sticker here. It's folded on itself. And I'm going to attempt to unfold it. But it's going to be hard to do. Um, just kind of scrape it open. Uh, so one of these won't look as good as the others. Uh, it was funny having to explain to uh, who Gary Wood was, my buddy, who doesn't follow Giant Bob stuff. Yeah, I can see that being weird. Because, like, where do you start? You're like, um, well, the writer of a Star Wars movie and Book of Eli used to, do, used to be on a website called Tested as a friend of the site which opened up his door to be other things. And then he also on occasion does kind of funny. And now he's a streamer and he was, and it's, it's weird. It's weird that the after earth writer is, is hanging out directly next to a guy that does a uh, mini documentary or full length documentaries about video games then has a Patreon, and they're just next to each other. Bandland is weird. Uh, I heard Gary Larson revamping his website out of the blue. I would love to see some new far side. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I hope that I hope that revamping is just like I don't know. We made it mod. We made it like a store, and the archives are better. We hired some people who know how to run a website to run our website. I would hope that's what it is. Uh, cause I don't know if there's, here's the thing. I don't know if I want new far side. I might just want an old man to just be an old man and enjoy his retirement and do all his hobbies and do all his things. In the same way that like, Hey, Hey, guess what? I love that. There's not a bunch of Calvin and Hobbes shit that the only bad Calvin and Hobbes that exist is those like stickers on your car of of uh, of Calvin peeing? Like that's it. There's no bad Calvin and Hobbes, and that's incredible. We're so lucky. Uh, Gary Witta is the only guy in the world who personally knows the only two Will Smiths on the planet. Yes, um, I that actually might not be true, Christian. Uh, I I believe that Adam Savage has met Will Smith and I know he's met Will Smith, Internet's Will Smith. I believe he's met the actor Will Smith as well. So I believe that there are only a couple people in this world. Uh, Gary Wood is the only one that I've met that's met both, which is very fun and very strange. Uh, I have the that big box set of Calvin and Farzad. Hell yeah. Yeah, I have a bunch of Calvin uh, and Hobbes stuff from various generations. Um, but yeah, I just mostly want... Uh, it's so nice when you're not disappointed. But it's also like that, you know, cosmic dis dissonance of, well, I don't know what Gary Larson thinks of things. I don't... It's it's kind of okay that I don't know that. And if I don't know that, that ignorance is bliss. So maybe I just... Because once you know, you know. We've talked about this. And you don't want to risk knowing. Sometimes, Leo, look, that's a privileged position to be in. To not... To be, like, willfully, willfully ignorant is a privileged position. I'm aware of that. But sometimes it is pretty cool to just not fucking know shit and just be like, okay, 
Gary Larson's doing his thing. Please don't find a reason to severely disappoint me, Mr. Larson. Okay. Thank you. All right. Now we got to put this in here. Just build an air. Whoop. Sticker moved. Sticker moved. Yeah, this one sticker here is not good. It bent on itself, and now it is not adhering well. So we will attempt to put some pressure on it. That's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, don't be a milkshake duck. Yeah, I mean, that's just, you know. Yeah, this one sticker's not great, but it should set on its own eventually. Um, so coming up next, we will be doing something that I'm a little worried about, which is we will be doing some water transfer decals. But uh, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll do all right. And then we're just going to lock this in place there. It's the top there. Move this aside. But yeah, now we got to do some water transfers. So I'm going to uh, take the piece out. I'm going to attach the pieces I need to attach it to. And then the last thing I'll, I'll do, the stickers that are just regular stickers. And the last thing I'll do are the two water transfers we have to do in order to, and we'll do it. Uh, once we attach it. My goal with this is to put as least amount of touching the water transfer once we're done. So we'll do everything and then that'll be the last thing we'll do on this piece, including attach it to wherever it's got to get attached to. Uh, the concept milkshake duck seems like it should have been a far side panel. I hear you. Uh, B17... All right, yeah, so we're going to put one of the logos and the word death on this uh, a side of the submarine. Uh, this is Law uh, in the Heart Pirates. They have a ship that's also a submarine, which some people call cheating, and I just say, that's pretty smart. It's pretty smart. You know, they're pirates. Uh, it is cheating. But I think it's pretty funny. Now, also, it, it is right to point out that while I do not believe that there is anything wrong with saying the name of their ship, it is a weird name and feels wrong. It feels a little wrong to call it its name, which is Polar Tang. As far as I know, there's nothing wrong with the name Polar Tang, but it seems wrong. It's just one of those things that feels a little like, I don't know if I should call this a, does that, are we like, hey, is this, can I, okay, are, okay, I guess, I guess it's okay. Just feels weird, call it that. Also, most of the time, it's just called Law Submarine or the Heart Pirates Submarine. Uh, but its name is indeed Polar Tang. New flavor of milk drink, yeah. Polar Aqua Blast and Aqua Blast and Cherry Bonanza and Polar Tang. All right, now we're putting some bigger stickers on here. These are a little easier to move around, a little easier to remove. Um, it has to be a reference to something. I think it's just like it does. They do the ship does the submarine does like pierce the ice is one of the reasons why they do the thing because I think that's part of it. It might just be combining two English words because that's you know not the first and nor the last time that will happen in. In any sort of anime. All right, so we got to put four stickers on here. All right, we have now attached four stickers. We are going to attach the two sections here, or three sections, I should say. Uh, basically, I want to attach all of this into one big unit and then put on the pieces I need to put on. So we got more stickers to put on here as well. Tank could be a sword thing, I think. 
They love puns too. Yes, I mean puns are great. Look, someone's got to keep puns alive. It might as well be manga authors. Uh, in the in the in the uh, second hour of the stream, um, we will talk about uh, some anime shows. I'm caught up on some series that I need to get caught up on. Uh, I watched uh, an episode of Ari Fuerta, which I have thoughts about. Uh, and uh, I, uh, yeah. And One Piece, speaking of One Piece, I do have One Piece thoughts. Which we'll talk about in the second hour. Um, okay, so a thing happened. We, earlier we talked about... Um, uh, this is not a big thing that happened. But earlier we did discuss... Um, and I think it's important to, to bring it up. That uh, uh, Loading Ready Run. Loading Ready Run. They uh, they do a lot of Magic the Gathering. They're a streaming channel. They do YouTube content. They're a whole thing. Bunch of lovely folks. Very happy. Uh, to uh, to be friends with, with several of them and to work with some of them on some projects here and there. Uh, and I hope to work out with them in the future on future projects. Uh, but to say this, they shot video at a thing that apparently happens in the U.S. but also happens in Canada called Rib Fest. They went to Rib Fest and shot some video. And watching that video last night made me go, I fucking want to eat some ribs. God damn it, I want to eat some ribs. We'll talk about Fire Force, Christian. Definitely. Don't worry about it. I definitely want to talk to you about that. Uh, I was like, I want some ribs. I'm going to go get some ribs. Well, well, readers, today I went and got ribs. Uh, I did have a meeting, and uh, I knew I was going to have this meeting yesterday. Yesterday, when I was like, I want to fucking go to Dallas Barbecue, which is a chain uh uh, that is here in, in New York City. Uh, New York City. Um, it is a chain restaurant uh, where you can get giant drinks. Real big, like real tall, big drinks if you want. And burgers and fries and that kind of stuff. And barbecue. And it's it's a solid place. I enjoy, I, I don't have any negative to say about that. Uh, it is a, it's a fine enough establishment. Uh, I like it just fine. Anyway, so uh, I have a meeting. I had a meeting today. I get out of the meeting. I walk across the street. Ooh, look at this made me all weird. Uh, I go and I get myself a half rack of ribs. Not a full rack, just a half rack because it's lunchtime. I get that. I get a baked potato. Recyclables here. Hi, recyclable. Uh, I haven't had a baked potato in a while because uh, our oven doesn't work great here in the apartment. Stove top works fine. The oven itself doesn't work great. So I haven't had a baked potato in quite some time. So I get a baked potato. Uh, cornbread was fine. It's not great. You don't go there for the cornbread. Uh, and it was a great little afternoon. Yeah, Leo, it was. It was great. Um, but it was that thing where I was like very happy that I had the time today to go and do it. Um but yeah, I'm 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 definitely the kind of person that when you when I see something like uh, on uh, in a video and it reminds me that I like a thing, then I have to go get that thing. And uh, I'm proud that I live here in uh, New York City, where I'm able to go get that thing when I want that thing. Uh, you know, I didn't have to go far. I was literally just there. And look, are these incredible ribs? Look in the thread I posted on uh, Twitter to see uh, my friend Khalif uh, replied with ribs that are homemade, homemade ribs that blew the ribs I ate out of the water. These ribs were not incredible that I had today. They were all, they were just okay. Looks like he had some killer ribs. I did not have killer ribs. I had a good enough ribs, but also they were good enough. Sauce was sugary and good and sticky and the ribs fell off the bone real nice and easy and it was like just a pleasurable experience and I was so happy to have that. Uh, I looked at the menu of that place and I gotta say it's weird you can't get brisket except on a sandwich. Yeah. Uh, 
Lashbrook, that is weird. I've never had brisket from Dallas Barbecue. I don't think I would get brisket from Dallas Barbecue. Like, that just doesn't seem like the thing that I, like, uh, the thing I would get from them. But yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, also, if I want brisket, there's other places in the city that I will go and get brisket. Um, uh, like Blue Ribbon. Blue, uh, 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 sorry, Hill Country. Blue Ribbon Chicken is a good chicken place. Hill Country is the place that I go and get brisket. I will get some brisket from Hill Country and maybe a Cornish hat. I'm more of a dry rub guy, Memphis style all the way. See, Harold, I like it smothered and covered. Um, I like my, I, I don't mind if the sauce is thick. I don't necessarily like a runny sauce. I, I like a good, uh, thick sauce. They're really like uh, basted and, and, and covered in it and coated in it. And then, hey, some sauce on the side? Don't mind if I do. Maybe I need a little more sauce for this. Maybe my chicken, because I got a chicken breast and I ripped into it. Well, I need some. I'm gonna dip some barbecue sauce on this now. That to me is pretty great and pretty much what I'm looking for. Um, I don't mind a dry rub on a brisket too much. I don't mind. Uh, but if I'm getting like, if I'm getting like pulled pork or I'm doing um. Uh, a rack of ribs. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm way more of a, like, just cover it. I might hit Famous Dave's tomorrow, says Leo. Well, Leo, I hope you do. I don't know Famous Dave's, but I know that that sounds like it's a place that does good work. It's got a good name for it. But yeah, I, uh, I was real happy with that choice. Uh, I love dry rub ribs. Yeah, I just, I'm not a, I'm not a dry rub per se, uh, person, myself. Um, I am, uh, I'm definitely, definitely a sauce guy. I like a good sauce. Uh, Famous Dave's the barbecue chain. They're okay. Well, that's, a, Harold, that's the same thing with me, right? I went to Dallas Barbecue. Uh, there are friends of mine who would scoff at me if I told them that I had lunch at Dallas Barbecue today. But, like, look, was I going to go all the way, all the way, all the way to up, up to basically outside of the city to Riverside Drive to go to De Dinosaur Barbecue? Dinosaur Barbecue is a destination. For me, that's an hour and a half, uh, like, subway ride to get to De Dinosaur Barbecue, which is... The best barbecue you ever had. Oh, uh, let's uh, throw the Bear Cave emote and thank uh, uh, Not Grind Style. Not Grind Style just uh, throwing bits and coins in there. It is September, so if you use the Subway Cheer emote, uh, there are bonus that come along. So I got a bonus there, which is rad. Thank you very much, uh, Not Grind Style, for that. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, Leo says a decent chain. Only place I can tolerate cornbread because it's soaked in honey. All right, okay. Um, uh, yeah, I hear, I hear, I hear you on, uh, on, on those kind of things. Yeah. Like, like I said, I could go to the best barbecue I've had in New York. Um, but see, um, I'm, I like all kinds of cornbread. I, I don't mind a savory. I, I don't mind a covered in, you know, layered in honey. Or uh, cornbread that you're just going to rip and you're just grabbing it because that plate got soggy with all the great stuff on it. And you got to soak up some juices in that cornbread. Like, I'm, I'm fine with either way. I'm here for it. Uh, if corn, uh, I, I, you know, I like a little springness on the sides. I mean, the top is, you know, kind of baked through but uh, and solid. Maybe even a little brown at the top. But uh, if the, uh, get a little sponge to it. I don't mind that. I generally don't enjoy cornbread. I understand. I hear that. Not ev nothing. Everything's for everybody. Uh, the person uh, that was working at Dallas Barbecue was like, you know, this comes, I, I, you know, uh, oh, hey, we got a lot of it, so uh, I'll bring you some coleslaw. And I was like, no, thank you. And I know it was free, and I appreciate that it was free. But I wasn't going to eat it. So it was not free. It was something else for someone to clean up. Because I am not interested in coleslaw. I just don't like it. Maybe someday I will. 
I try it every now and again, and so far, no thanks. But that's okay. Fuck cold sauce. That's not grind style. Okay, all right, not grind style. I was, no, you know, I understand. Not everybody likes everything. <laughs> cool out. Cool out, all right? I get it. Uh, you tried the barbecue uh, out on the terrace at PAX. No, Leo, I did not. Um, uh, did not try that. Um, I, uh, at any convention, my goal is to eat as fast as possible with as few lines as possible. PAX Unplugged, I ended up... Uh, like living off of chicken tenders because there was one place you could get chicken tenders all the time. Uh, although at PAX East, I should say, PAX East, uh, there was a, uh, a pretty cool place uh, uh, and I got some uh, pretty good pork katsu, which I was very happy about and was a little bit more than I normally get. On my Canada, uh, 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 Alaska trip this summer, says Harold, uh, when my family had an extended layover in Dallas, we had a pretty we hit a pretty good barbecue bus. Well, Harold, especially as a driver up fan that you are, uh, yeah, they do all right. They do all right in Texas. There was weirdly a no line eleven forty five on Saturday when I went. It was pretty dope. That's good. Hey, Leo, when you can find those places, that rules. Like I always try to find those places. Like every once in a while, there'll be like a place that does like a macaroni and cheese, and you're like, this was only seven dollars, and is like pretty filling. I think I won. Um, but yeah. That's, uh, it, you know, sometimes it's, it's just hard to, to find the thing you're looking for, and you just gotta go with what you can get. Um, Alright, so this did not combine together properly. So I'm going to try to separate this here. You can see there. That that is that is, that should not be. That should be a nice even line. So I will try to separate this, and just with my sponger here, and see why. And I'm just gonna try to loosen it up, and then redo it, and try to do it right. Uh, again, I do have uh, water transfer water slides to put on here, but I wanted to put the whole thing together before I did that, uh, so that I wasn't doing what I'm doing now, which is like, you know, trying to make these pieces fit and trying to figure that out. Uh, so I don't have to do that um, with these somewhat delicate things that aren't setting yet. Uh, I love finding the places with no lines. Then two months later, they close and I can't get my favorite chicken anymore. Yep, I've been there when you're like, oh, this is so convenient. You can just walk right in and get what you need. And they're like, please tell your friends. Please tweet about it. Please retweet. We need lines. Yeah, I've definitely, I've definitely been there. You're like, oh no. All right, that came together good this time. I did what we wanted to do. All right, now we'll get our cup of water here. Get napkin here. Cup of water. And we will start with this. Just gonna get this wet here. Not too long, but just long enough. Submerge it in water. Let it do its job. Uh, water transfers. I am still nowhere near an expert. I've gotten better at it as it goes. These are easier because they are pre-cut, which means that if I do run into a trout problem, I can peel it off uh, if it doesn't want to slide. But the tr traditional thing is I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it where I want. I'm going to take a wet... Um, uh, Q-tip. I'm going to get a wet Q-tip. And I'm going to slide it where I want it to be. Uh, hence the water slide. Which is why, even though you want to cut it so you're not dealing with a big piece, you want to have enough of it, of the paper, that's not your uh, sticker, that you can hold on to it. So now I have that. And it's going to go here. So we will see if... Can wet it. Yeah, it doesn't want to slide. Okay. It doesn't want to slide, which means that we will take, we'll do this. We'll 
take our knife and we will separate the sticker, which is a big circle. All right. So then we will place this where we want it, which is here. And then we will take a dry and then we will apply it and pat the water off. Now we could put some water on here to kind of move it and center it, but I like where it is. And then right here, we're going to put a sticker that says death. Because uh, that's Law's thing. Law is a doctor and a surgeon, but he is a surgeon of death. It's pretty cool. But we'll put the other sticker on the other side first. Um, so again, some submerge in water, watch the paper change a color, as you can see, Christian says, wait, do you have questions about law? Do you have questions about the character whose name is Law, who is a doctor and a pirate, and at no point does anything related to law except his laws, uh, and he has a devil fruit ability. Look, One Piece is a lot of things, okay? It's a whole lot. Yeah, yeah, his hands say death as well. He's a complicated character. Uh, it doesn't really follow the, you know, yeah. He's a complicated character. There's a lot going on. Mike AM is now hosting the stream. Thank you so much, Mike. I uh, appreciate the host. Uh, any more eyes on here is always appreciated, so thank you for that. Uh, all right. Doctors fight death. I know. I know that. I, Law knows that too. A lot of his doctoring is is in the, pro, you know, he does want to save lives, but he also sometimes wants to um, get information out of people and be a pirate. I don't know. He's considered one of the world's best doctors. And there are some pretty great doctors in One Piece, so... All right, I'm going to let this soak a little bit longer. Uh, try to get this to come off e a little more easily. Uh, as a, Again, uh, a lot of what I say and do here, I think is great and hopefully helpful. And sometimes I'm just figuring it out as a go and I'm doing my best. Um, what we got here? Uh, oh, God. Well, uh, I can't with that. Uh, to secure people in the anime. He does, yeah, he does some doctoring. He he helps uh, Luffy, our main character, uh, 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 heal from his wounds and gives him treatment, does some surgery. Yeah, he does some good work. Uh, Buzzkill, thank you so much for that. Always appreciate bits and coins. They're always appreciated. And we do get bonuses if you use that uh, lovely uh, Subway cheer moat. Uh, that does help out a lot. So thank you for that. All right, we're just going to remove this sticker here. We are not going to slide anything this time. We're literally just doing what we got to do. Applying where we need to. And once again, we will take a dry Q-tip and apply it and try to squeeze out any water. Oops. Without moving it around, which we did there. But we can compensate. And again, it was telling me to apply this before, but I put this together because these are small and I don't want to deal. I just don't want to deal with them, like moving them around. Um, we are going to uh, now we have to apply the word death and death just kind of goes underneath the uh, uh, our lights fixtures here. So we will soak this water. This should be easy to apply and I should be able to correct them by using uh, the wet Q-tip if I need to. Uh, but this shouldn't take too long to do death. That's a lot easier than the symbols, which are already pretty great. And I'm just going to... This one sticker is never going to work, so I'm going to remove it. Because it's just never going to work, which is a shame. 
having a sticker just kind of be fucked up. Not thrilled with, but whatever. Shouldn't be too noticeable when the whole thing's done. All right, that should be good. Let's take this out. And see if we can remove these letters. Yep, that'll do. And Okay, and then we're just take a dry. Make sure it's dry. Yep. And without moving it, remove whatever liquid we can. Put a little pressure on there. Kind of push the liquid out and then absorb it. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Uh, again, there are products you can buy if if you're doing your own kits at home. You can you can uh, purchase some products. Uh, and, and there's YouTube videos about those that exist. I'm going to get this a little wet again. Um, uh, that if you want to purchase uh, some stuff that you can do that can treat it. I know people that use um, hairspray. They put hairspray over as like a clear coat. Um, we're just going to apply these and do our best. Yeah. Obviously, we're not done with stickers here, but we are done with most of our water transfers. There are some, there's one that goes, uh, these little ones, I don't know where they go yet. And then this big one goes on our sale. And that's going to be a big honker of a thing. And then, of course, regular old stickers, they have to go on as well. But yeah. That is, that is the thing that was going to give me the most uh, anxiety. And I'm glad we're done with those. Hello, Dirty. Welcome, welcome. Now we're going to start working on, uh, we'll work on the tail here. We got some stickers to apply, the tail fin, and then we'll start working on the underside of our uh, sub. But we don't need the water for a little while anyway, so I can put that aside. And we'll deal with that in a little bit. But let's, uh, let's put some stickers on our, uh, our tail fin here. B six and seven, yeah. But yeah, um, water transfers are a thing that I never thought I would do on stream, and I'm getting better at them. Dry transfers, I'm still not great at, but um, you know, sometimes we screw up, sometimes we make mistakes, and we can learn from them. And uh, hopefully, uh, hey, if I can do this stuff, that I hope that encourages other folks for. Uh, to give it a go, um, to watch me do it and see my successes and failures will hopefully encourage other people to give it a shot. All right. And try to line this up right. Okay, and then we'll just use a dry Q-tip. Okay. Straighten this out. All right, and then we do the other side with the other one, which is... That one, yeah. Uh, we will take a pause for the cause in a couple of minutes. I'll talk about ways you can support the stream if that's something you'd like to do. Um, uh, I don't know if we'll finish this kit here. I have, uh, I got to put a poll up soon for my $10 Patreons about what I should build next. But I do have, I do have a Lego set that if we finish this up and there's still stream time, we'll jump to that because I'd like to take a break from, uh, from stickers. So... Because this kit had so many stickers. So I have a Lego set that, if, like I said, if we finish this up and there's time left in the stream tonight, we'll just start on a Lego set. Because um, I do have a model kit to build, uh, uh, and I have another one coming that should be here by uh, Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday. 
Um, so I do have some options coming in, but I got a three-in-one Lego set, which means there's no decals or stickers because it's a three-in-one and you got to reuse the pieces. And boy, I'm looking forward to taking a break from stickers because we have so many stickers left and doing two kits in a row that are so many stickers. Like, I'm happy to be building this kit. This kit is cool. I'm about to put all these black stickers on, on the next segment. There's just so many of them. Uh, I don't want to seem ungrateful. I'm excited to build this kit. I'm happy to do it. But dang. Dang. A lot of stickers. If someone buys me the Going Merry, which is on my Amazon wish list, which I'll mention in a bit, I'll build that kit. And I'll have a good time building it. Because it's a fun looking kit. But. Woo. Kind of need a break from all of the sticker work. What do I got coming in the mail? Uh, so uh, I have a Dragon Ball action figure model kit to build. And then uh, I forget what I bought. I bought something off my wish list. Or my, I bought something on my own. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I got the uh, the Bandai, uh, of course. Uh, I have the uh, the GM, uh, the, the uh, uh, command the master grade of the uh, GM command from uh, Gundam 0080 um, which is a classic looking kit I love the helmet uh, I love the coloring it's just a it's a cool looking thing um, so I bought that and that should be track package that's coming in the mail yeah I should have that by the end of the week that's a good looking kit Oh, Harold, have a great night. Um, but mostly it's that, you know, we're, we're doing some model kit stuff here. I just haven't done a, a, a Gundam in a while and looking forward to, to building a Gundam. But that, that is coming in the mail soon, so I'm excited to do that. Uh, all right. So we put some things on here. Now we got to put some stickers on this. We're going to move this aside, let it fully dry. Let's put some stickers on this thing. And we will be taking our pause to the cause in a few months. Would you paint Warhammer figures or just a... Uh, or just model kits and Legos? So, uh, Last Gundam was the weird one that only appeared on a magazine. You're right. Yes, uh, that was a beautiful looking kit. But it was only in a magazine. So, it was a lot odd for us. Um, Dirty. So, uh... I don't paint um, on stream. Um, that is a thing that I have like no experience doing. And I don't, I know myself, I don't think it would be something that I would be interested in doing on stream. Um, just from what I know of my own self. Uh, am I, you know, um, so, I mean, when we first started, I didn't do stickers. So like, that's not to say that it, it would never happen, but I don't expect it to ever uh um, I don't expect to ever be doing um, uh, painting. Uh, someday I would love to uh, challenge myself to uh, to try to do some um, weathering to a kit. Like buy a cheap uh, high grade, build it, and then do like a weathering project. That's something that I've, I've always been interested in the idea of. Uh, or... I don't, I, I don't know when that would happen, but I, I could see myself, uh, no, no, I'm not, I'm no, I'm no Bob Ross. Uh, um, I don't know when it would happen, but I could see myself trying to, to maybe even do some marker work. Um, like I said, I don't know when that would happen, but I could see myself giving it a shot someday. Uh oh. Sticker fell on the paper, stuck to the paper. Hopefully, will adhere good enough to there. We'll just. I've been using tweezers out of habit, but I, I want to go back to using um, my Exacto knife here, which I do need a new blade for, 
uh, for October. But right now, this blade is fine for our sir, our purposes. But yeah, uh, no, no attempts to, to be the Bob Ross of, uh, of model kits uh, or miniatures. Uh, I'll leave that to other folks that have the dedication to that. This is not in my wheelhouse. All right, and then we'll just that. All right, we the front part of this. Now we got to do the back part, which is the back part is just bigger other stickers. We got to go on. So we did one, now we'll do the other, and that's too large. There you go. Okay. All right, and oops. All right. And transfer another big sticker here. Oops. And then use the you tip to down. and that's great nothing nothing really to say at this moment we're just you know applying some stickers here um, uh, we'll finish this part up uh, and then we will take our pause for the cause I will talk about ways you can support the stream if that's something you'd like to do uh, it won't take too long as always and those that you know I'm a broken record uh, just bear with me as I do that and then I will talk about some anime stuff and then, you know, kind of open the floor for things. Things and things. Uh, all right. Just put one up there. Uh, I'll say this. This isn't quite anime. Well, this is anime talk, but this is just like uh, I watched Demon Slayer uh, again, uh, which that's generally, if I'm really into a show, um, I will watch the episode I already watched again. It's either instead of some show I'm not actually super into or just whatever else is going on. Uh, that's generally a good indication that I'm into a thing. Um, and this one was, a was, a the, the last episode was a nice balance of silliness, uh, and also seriousness. Um, which was cool. Uh, and, uh, sport characters were fun. The young ladies who are, who think that Tendro works hard were, were fun. In that episode, I remember that. All right. Let's put one there, one there, there. There, and then we'll just go in and make sure these are all correctly. But yeah, Demon Slayer is 24 episodes. That's a lot. But I'm also the one that's telling you that Black Clover fucking rules, and that's a lot more episodes. But also, Black Clover fucking rules, y'all. Uh, these fights are real good. They're going to have to do something, take a break or something, because Black Clover is, I, if I remember correctly, catching up to the manga, and that's frightening for anime fans. Hopefully they'll just go on a hiatus, let some more of the manga come out, instead of doing a, a big filler arc. I don't know. Always the fear. Particularly with shonen shows. It's just like, uh... What if our characters went on a vacation to recuperate? Uh, maybe, maybe. Just go away for a bit. Just we'll create a new threat for them to deal with. Uh, I love a Black Clover just straight up tells you the entire plot at the beginning of every episode. Yep, yeah, they, uh, they definitely do a lot of like last time on, but then also the overarching plot uh, they definitely want you to give it a shot if you haven't yet. 
Uh, they are very invested in you. Just like, hey, maybe today's the time you check in on Black Clover. We're doing our best. Please, please try. Please, maybe you'll like it. I don't know. Maybe you will. Um, all right. Hello. If you're currently a subscriber watching the stream live here on Twitch, you can throw the Bear Cave emote in there, the Lego emote, uh, the Scythe emote if you're a Tier 2 friend. Let the people know that you are a subscriber. Uh, and thank you for doing that because it's always uh, appreciative. I appreciate it very much. Um, thanks for, for watching the stream. We are currently taking our pause to the cause, which is just a couple minutes where I say, hey, I just talk to y'all for a minute or two, say thank you. I throw some links at you, ways you can support the stream. Obviously, being a subscriber is huge. Um, it's September, so if you've never subscribed, Jam is here. What's up, Jam? Uh, hello, hello. Uh, so if you've never been a subscriber, um, if you if you want to convert from Twitch Prime to a paid one and then use your Twitch Prime coin for someone else, you can do that at half off because it's September. If you give someone a sub, they can convert that gift for half off, but... Uh, but that doesn't matter as much because uh, gifts are the normal price. Uh, but yeah, uh, being a subscriber and the number is going up. That's always cool. Another option if you're like, ah, I don't want to subscribe to you on Twitch, but I follow you and I have my notifications turned on. Well, maybe you want to jump in on Patreon. Maybe you got an account on Patreon. And you want to give me a dollar or five dollars, ten dollars or three dollars. There are tiers on Patreon. That's another way to support the stream. This will all be in the show description on Twitch. Uh, and there are different rewards for different tiers. Like the uh, thing I'm going to link to in a little bit, the um, blog, the vlog I made uh, for PAX West 2019. Well, uh, some folks got to see that early yesterday. Five and ten dollar supporters got that uh, an email yesterday on Patreon with that video because they get everything a day early. I have an Amazon wish list. This came off my wish list. If you would like to see me build something on the stream, you can go to the wish list. You click on it. It gets sent to me in the mail. I know there's some things coming, I believe. Uh, there's some other stuff I put on there. Uh, Garp ship from One Piece. It's got a dog in the front of it. That's just cool. Um, there's a, uh, a Batmobile uh, Pursuit of the Joker Lego set that looks pretty neat. Uh, the uh, RX-782, real great. I put that up on there. I should build. I should probably build that kit at some point. So I put that up there. There's some options of things that uh, I would like to build, uh, and uh, I will do it ahead of uh, the stuff I have waiting for me in the wings. Uh, let's see. Uh, go to purchase and see. Um, yeah, apparently there. Yeah, there's some tiny little kits that should be coming to me in the mail at some point soon, um, and uh, I will build those on stream when they come in. Uh, so yeah, if you want to pick something up off my wish list, then it'll come and I'll build it. And that's how that works. Uh, alternatively, and I'll get through this pretty quick and then drink some water. Um, if you're like, Pat, I want to support the stream. I want to buy you something. I do not want to buy it on Amazon. Well, you go to USA Gundam store. They have gift cards. You can buy a gift card on from USA Gundam store. And then send me a whisper here on Twitch. Send me a DM on Twitter. Uh, and uh, be like, hey, here's these gift cards. Uh, here's the code for the gift card. Buy something. And then I'll buy something on the USA Gundam store. That's an option. Uh, and then I have a coffee and a Streamlabs and a PayPal uh, and all those. I uh, appreciate it very much. Any money I make from anything goes to kits and equipment. Uh, so um, consider buying something on one of those. It's all in the show description on Twitch as well or on uh, YouTube. Uh, for this video, for those that you watch on YouTube, and thanks for those that do. Um, I have a uh, Discord. The Build with Bear Community Discord is a cool place for cool folks. You can jump into that if you'd like to. Um, check that out. Uh, Build with Bear Community. It's fun. Uh, and then also I have a closer look. As I said, my vlog from PAX. Normally closer looks are like Hey, I put stickers on this thing. Let's compare and contrast the F91. It's a small kit compared to other kits, that kind of thing. But I decided that also that's where I could put my vlogs because I don't have anywhere else to put them. So now Closer Looks could also be a vlog, which is a closer look. It's just a different kind of video. I figured that would work. 
And that way it shows up in my playlists of things and you can find it. I just drank some water. You could drink some water. Uh, maybe you should drink some water. I don't know. I'm going to grab a napkin here. Pardon me for a second. All right. Okay. Let's get back to building, friends. Uh, and then we'll talk about some anime. Because uh, it's now the 10 o'clock hour. Eastern, I should say. And uh, we'll, we'll start with the things I don't have much to say about. And then we'll get into the things that I want to talk about. Oh, good. My uh, autofocus there didn't make me as pale as it did there. Sometimes that just happens. Whatever. Um, let's see. So I don't have a lot to say about... Uh, Fruits Basket. It's just a good drama. The comedy's fun. I think animation is great. Uh, I'm watching it. I feel a little obligated to watch it because I love the original series, and this is a much more like closer to the original uh, retelling of the show, and I want to support it because, like I said, I really do like it. Um, but. Sometimes I feel like I am watching out of ob obligation, and that's weird, because it's my entertainment. I shouldn't be obligated to watch entertainment, but that's kind of how I'm feeling right now when it comes to Fruits Basket. I think it's good. I wish it was great. It's solid. I'll say that. And as some of my shows run out, like tomorrow, tomorrow, two of the shows I watch, um, uh, well, not, well, not Black Clover, but one of the shows I watched. Um, and then Wednesday, two of the shows I watched, as I say. So I have three shows that are ending uh, tomorrow and Wednesday. So, like, the ones that continue, I, I want to support a little bit more uh, and find ways to support them. Uh, even if I'm, like, not super invested in it, like I said. Um, Given. I don't have a lot to say about Given, except that I really like this show and, like throw text out of the window it's it, it's they're being honest and earnest characters are sharing their feelings it's gonna blow up people's faces it's gonna be rough and tumble um but right now it just feels so good to have characters just like fucking just be honest and earnest about their feelings for one another uh um i just think it's a great show uh you know uh, a friend of mine was saying that they were bummed because uh, the emotional stuff is great, but it does it means that when they're talking about their feelings, they're not playing music, and the music in that show is very good. And while I understand that, there are a lot of shows with good music. There are very, there aren't that many really solid drama animes about gay relationships. There just aren't a lot of those. Um, there aren't a lot of shows with fucking text and not subtext. So. Um, I'll be okay if not every episode is band practice, if it means that there's some character growth and character development and like honest and earnest feelings being portrayed. And then, you know, some, some people feeling weird about it and all that. It's, uh, it's a whole thing, but overall, uh, I'm super into given, uh, and I'm, yeah, I'm really, I'm really psyched about it. I want, I want to see more. Uh, it's a, it's a solid show. Uh, I haven't watched Given, but I did rewatch Kids on the Slope the other day, and I was unprepared for that ending to totally annihilate me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck. Sometimes, uh, sometimes those shows. Uh, sometimes the not happy endings are good. Uh, I think you got a lot quieter off the boss. Uh, well, I am, I am, uh, I, I am like trying to, to talk about like, oh, I don't know. Uh, maybe it was my microphone probably after the pause of the cause, um, that, uh, that I didn't put my mic back there cause I drank some water. Um, but yeah, also I'm, I probably got a little quieter when I was talking about given cause it is a, it is a cool drama show. Um, that, uh, I think is just great. And I would like to, I'd like more people, more folks to be able to watch it. Uh, so I can talk to them about it. Uh, okay. So 
Uh, now let's talk about my favorite of the four anime I'm going to talk about tonight. Uh, some really solid stuff in this episode of One Piece. Uh, sumo. They're fighting some sumo people. Uh, and I love that, like, obviously, Luffy is a brawler. And he got there and he was like, oh, there's some samurai stuff in here. I'm going to use a sword. And he's just like, that's not me. But now we see Zoro, the swordsman, the, the person that wants to be the greatest swordsman in the world. Uh, he he knows some un, some uh, unarmed combat. Of course he does. Uh, now I know how people feel, feel when I talk about Jojo. I hear you, Christian. Uh, so now, uh, so you get to see Zoro do some sumo, which is weird because like he does have his unarmed sword style uh his zero sword the zero sword style but that's not what this is this is him doing like judo basically uh, and and sumo slaps uh and it's pretty fucking cool um because there's a big big old person uh there is a dumb gag where uh the woman that they're traveling with right now uh like gets picked up and carried off for a second and he was and they're like why why did you do that uh and it's because right before that a guy who's just wearing uh the i forget the name of it but just wearing the the uh the Lloyd cloth uh says you wouldn't slash a naked guy, would you? And then Zoro doesn't. Uh, and then Luffy's like, why didn't you stop them? And he was like, it felt weird to slash a naked guy. Uh, and that's funny. But also, I feel like if that guy hadn't said anything and Zoro had just done it and not helped out of nowhere, and then that was his explanation, that would have been way funnier. And that's also what it's like in the manga so it was a little weird they just added an extra joke they like added a line and that felt a little odd that's very minor nitpicking um we got to see uh some uh, champions hockey i think it's called or conquerors hockey and it was golden for some reason and that was fucking rad uh yeah just some good uh sumo shit uh lady chopped off a guy's top knot and people are like freaking out and then we're gonna see luffy do some uh some sumo fighting which i think works very well for his uh, abilities uh and then people who are like cheering for this dude will probably side with luffy which you hope you hope um, all right. So this got attached to this. I don't know how it does it. It's going to look at this and see. That doesn't go there. So this goes, this goes under. Okay. So it goes like that. All right. I don't know anything about submarines. So I have no idea what any of this, any of these components are, or are supposed to be, or do. I'm just going with whatever. <laughs> All right, so that's that one. This goes around that. All right, so let me get G. Okay. Oh, that's the end of this piece here. So we are getting close to finishing this up. All right, so now let's talk about Ari Fuerta. Comparatively, this was a way better episode than previous episodes. I will even admit that I laughed a little bit as the dragon board was attempting to feed uh, our main dude, Hajime, and he was like not having it. And it was kind of funny and I laughed, but then she like was very happy that he was being mean to her. And I, then I was like, oh, I don't like this. Never mind. You ruined it. But it was fun. Like. There was a moment that was pretty funny, and then they just ruined it by continuing the joke. Uh, but there was a lot of good action here. 
uh, some cool spells. The fights didn't look terrible. Um, and then, uh, even though in the manga at this point, he has already murdered a character. He's already murdered humans, uh, in this world. We haven't seen in the anime, Hajime murders a human. Now that human was trying to kill his teacher, uh, and was attempting to show everyone how awesome he was by uh, destroying the town because he felt like people didn't respect him. But demons knew he w he got used by some demons who then tried to kill him and take him out. Uh, so he was a sucker. Uh, but it makes sense that at least a few of these humans that came from our from the real world to this fancy land would like not be the noblest people we already knew that but it like makes sense but yeah the hajime kill kajime kills a dude and you know the reasoning is this guy was gonna die anyway but now the teacher doesn't think that she let him die she thinks that someone else did it and blah blah, blah. maybe she'll feel better about it um I, I, I don't know. I don't know where they're going to go for the rest of the... I think... I forget what episode this was. I'm going to look it up. Uh, for World's... Yeah. From Common Place to World's Strongest. I don't know what episode that was. I'm going to look at this. Um, but overall, as I've said in the past... Uh, Alright, so that was episode... Was that episode 10? No. That was episode... That was. That was episode 10. Okay, so... I believe it's a 12-episode series. Um, and... I don't know what's going to happen in the rest of it. Like I said, um, I've been down on the series. If you are going to watch Ariferta, I, I recommend watching um, the... Up, up until the bunny girl appears, he's an interesting take on the genre, and now it's just a harem show. Like I said, I think the powers were pretty cool in this one, and the abilities are pretty interesting. This episode was better than previous. Certainly better than the last one, but overall, it was, uh, it wasn't the best. And, okay. All right. So we put our first clear blue piece on. Put that on there. So we'll move there. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's my anime report. Like I said, um, uh, yeah, cheap. I think cheap magician tomorrow is the last episode. I believe. Uh, and it's gotten better. The show's gotten better. Yes. So, oh no. Uh, episode 11 is, uh, is on Wednesday. So that's almost done. But, uh, tomorrow, Are You Lost is the last episode. And then, I think Demon Lord Retry is almost done as well. All right, so we put a clear piece on there. The submarine. The porthole. So you can see underwater. Because this goes in the bottom. There we go. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm bummed on some of my shows kind of wrapping it up. But I also, you know, other shows are continuing to do their thing. Which is cool. Uh, so it's not all over. But it is a lot of it's over. All right, and then this goes on here. So this does the thing where, uh, when it's done, what well, we can show what it what it can do. But you can remove the bottom part of the submarine and put this.
Uh, just remember, as shows wind down, the next season anime gets closer. Yes, Dirty. We do have more cool stuff coming soon. So you can do this if you want to uh, kind of sh show it. Or you actually, no, it goes over. So you can... right, let me go look this up. I don't know. Customers. That's what you got to do. So you could take these out and put this on over it. And so the fins are underwater. So you can you can display it like that if you want, which is kind of cool. Or you can bottom. Uh, also, last episode they revealed one of the nameless side characters was secretly Jason. Oh, uh, I'm also bummed how heavy are the dumbbells you lift is ending as they're just getting around to having a plot. Also, last episode, they revealed one of the nameless side characters was secretly Jason Statham. So, the thing of that show, Lashbrook, like, I haven't watched a lot of it. It kind of seems like they started with a premise of, it's about this one character. It seemed like it was going to be a show about this one character learning about the world of, of weight training and weight lifting. And it kept, like, teasing that she was going to, like, get into something and, like, be good at a thing. But it really just seems like an excuse for, like, muscles. It seems like a show about how great muscles are. And also, mostly about the trainer, the main trainer. Like, and gags related to him. I don't know. I did like the I did like that fake Arnold Schwarzenegger character. I thought that was kind of fun. I didn't mind that. I saw some clips. I haven't watched whole episodes because it just didn't seem great. But I there's there's something interesting about the idea that they're like, yeah, there's a there's a plot now. They 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 finally found one. They stumbled into something. Uh, that's what the manga is mainly about, muscles. Yeah. But it, at some point, seemed like it was going to be about, like, this character, like, who came in to lose weight, finding a world that she didn't know anything about, and, like, making discoveries about herself, and wh who she is, and what she's into, and all that. But it, it doesn't super seem like that's what the thing, the show was about. Uh seems like it's not super really about her which is weird in my opinion anyway like i said i haven't watched the whole thing i don't know uh like there's an episode pretty early on where the main character does essentially vegeta destroying the punching bag which oh yeah i've seen that clip uh and they never bring it up again yeah it seems like the show isn't interested in following like it's not interested in being like a boxing anime or a, or a general sports anime uh, whereas you might think that that's what the show is about. It's like this, you know, savant in the world of weightlifting or power or whatever. Uh, but it, it seems to be just a comedy that uses that stuff for laughs when when it feels like it. Which is odd, in my opinion. As I said, have not watched all of it. Can't claim to know everything that's going on with it. But it just seems off. All right, so I gotta water transfer some of these here. I'm gonna hold on a second. A five is We've got a flag to put some some uh, water transfers on. We are transferring two little uh, um, things onto here. Uh, two little of the Jolly Rogers and then one big one that's going to go on our sale because we're putting some sales on our thing. Um, so these are the the naked ones for submarine mode when there's no sales up and then there's versions that you put up for when you do want there to be a sale out. You have this the this one. So I like that, that I like I do like that. Um, they give you options, but yeah, let's uh, get these on here. Okay, 
Um, just gonna cut out two of them because I only need two of them. All right, put that aside. I'm gonna get that wet. Get this wet as well. Oh yeah, so these two we can take off because we will put the versions of the sails up. Let that get wet. Um. Yeah, the, uh, like I said, that that last brook. I'm sorry that that show isn't really hitting you, hitting it for you. But I will say, I mean, I only stopped watching two shows this season. Uh, Fire Force is really good. I prefer Soul Leader over it, though. Yeah, I mean, Christian, Fire Force isn't perfect by any means, but I really do enjoy it, and I think people are sleeping on it because um, uh, I think it does have a lot of heart um, and it's doing some interesting things. Uh, so I, I, uh, I do enjoy that series. I would like to see, you know, I, I'm, I'm engaged in it. Uh, it's got great characters, great support. It's just a solid shonen show. All right, so now I'm gonna put that in water. And let that go. But yeah. Uh, I will say, of all the Friday shows, uh, I was surprised because I thought Fire Force would be a show that I would be like, yeah, that's all right. But, you know. But then, like, Dr. Stone ended up being a little disappointing. I mean, I'm a broken record on Dr. Stone. I just think that the premise was so strong, and I don't necessarily love what they've done with it, but then they win me back with fun support characters, even though I have said, and I stand by the fact that I think that uh, the original premise they gave me was so strong. But, you know, sometimes you're just not going to get what you want out of a show. That's okay. Alright, so we'll put this on just like this. All right, I think that's wet enough to peel off. We'll go to the other side here. Get it. That moon was so cool. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, for me, Doctor Stone. The thing of Doctor Stone that I liked the most was the promise of the first couple episodes of this like weird, mad genius character, and he's simple but really straightforward and. Uh, honest friends and then the smart nowhere near as smart genius but like smart and nice and animal loving companion and the three of them like trying to figure everything out and save the civilization and the world and bring everyone back it was really interesting and I was way more interested in that than necessarily what the show is now which I still like, I just don't like as much. All right, so we got a really big decal here. We're gonna use the wet method here of uh, to try to apply this because we are applying this on a, you know, this is not a straight surface, so we are using water here to kind of uh, move the sticker over some of the bumps here. So we are wetting this so that we can kind of get some of the wrinkles out. I don't mind some of the wrinkles, but I'm trying to avoid them. And then we'll then use a dry. So this isn't perfect, but also this is a huge sticker. So like, I'm not going to get it perfect. I know me. I'm not going to nail it. I'm just going to do the best I can with it. All right. Yeah. That's not perfect, but it's good. And then let's try another one of these.
But yeah, we got some Isekais coming up next season. We've got uh, um, some dramas coming up. We've got more Shonen stuff. I'm excited for the next episode of Black Clover tomorrow because it a big thing happened, but we'll see if Yami and Finroll show up to help out and what's going on. Bunch of stuff happening in that anime that I'm excited about. Because uh, Asta's got to have to surpass himself. But he's got one of those swords, so maybe he can figure out how to use this sword. Fight the Lich. And win. I don't know. I don't know if he'll be able to pull it off. Psychopaths. Yep, there's a new Psychopaths. Uh... My Hero Academia comes back. Um, uh, Food Wars. There's a yeah. There's some returning shows. As I said, that uh, bookstore. The 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 girl. The isekai about the girl that just wants uh, to read, but she's in a world where there's no books, so she's gonna fucking figure out how to make books. Seems kind of fun. Um, the the isekai about uh, all of the prodigy kids who take on a nation and become like warriors seems kind of interesting uh, what's your opinion on Bakugo he sucks right so not grind style like I understand this like there's, there's, it's complicated, right? So on the one hand, he does suck because he's like really strong, but really arrogant. But he also like has that thing where he seems like a villain and his power is very, uh, can be very damaging. Uh, and he is great at a very young age. Uh, so like he could grow up like, I've known a lot of shitty teens and shitty young kids who are like talented and and are surrounded by people telling him him how talented he is. So I can understand why he is the way he is and why he would be so mad at like the nobody that he wrote off suddenly being really good. Um he does control it and then he gets angry when it does go out of control and you can manipulate him into being the thing is, a lot of it, it's, you can manipulate him into doing the right thing. And he does have a code, but he also is arrogant and an asshole because he spent so much of his life thinking he was the best and being told he was the best. So, like, I get it. Uh, well, yeah, they have to laugh it off. They got they have to laugh it off. The only thing they can do is laugh at him. Uh He's not my. He's certainly by far not my favorite character in the show, um, but uh, he's been in some good moments in the show. So I'm not gonna totally fault him, even though, as I said, he's certainly not my favorite uh, in the cast. Uh, I mean, it could be worse. He could be the copycat dude, the copy power dude, because that guy. Is annoying as hell. Or he could be Mineta and just be objectively awful and terrible and worthless. Literally, how is Mineta in class A? His quirk isn't good. His his quirk is sticky is glue. His quirk is glue. And he doesn't even like uh he doesn't even like have other things. Like I don't necessarily think having frog powers is great, but Floppy uses her frog powers really well, understands what her powers are. Sue Sue uses her powers and, like, gets them and has thought about what her powers should be and how she can best use them. Uh, and so, like, even, like, I understand, like, why, it, why it'd be weird that she's in Class A, but, like, I get it. But I don't know how Mineta is better than 
the vine person or the big fist person uh, in class B. Like, I, I, I don't see that. You know, I just don't see it. Yes. Yes, copycat dude is better. Yes. Yeah, uh, Christian, I always think that that's always a shame because there's a bunch of people in class B that, like, we don't even know what they do because they're just there. Like, hey, what is manga? What is the manga guy? What's that manga guy do? He He's just like a manga strip for a head. Like, what's up? What's up with that dude? Like, I understand it's a joke. Him being there is a funny gag. But, like, what's up with that guy? Does he have, like, Looney Tunes powers? What What's up with that guy? Like, what's going on? I want to know. Tell me. He is just a manga dude. Yeah. But, like, what's up? What's up with that guy that has, like, a Lego piece for a head? What's going on with that guy? Also, there's always teachers that I'm like, I want to know more about these teachers. More about them, please. What's going on with them? I don't know. There's just so many characters in that world. I get it. Doesn't he, like, throw manga sound effects? I don't know. He might. We can make things real. I don't know. Alright. Uh, I, I talked to us on Twitter the other day that I was watching. Um, I was like, you know what? I want to watch an episode of My Hero Academia. Because uh, I was just like, I want to veg out. I'm going to watch the dorm room competition. Like, who has the best room episode because that's a fun episode I forgot that that episode also has sad floppy in it and I totally forgot that that was the same episode I thought it was the next episode and I was just like this is fun this is a fun episode ha the dark the the uh the dark room uh oh this is funny oh Mineta has a creepy thing in here there's a really fucking nonsense creep thing that sucks uh, and then floppy being mad, being sad and being like, we did this, to try to cheer one up and fix things, but she couldn't. And everyone being like, Hey, I'm so sorry about this. I'll try to be better. Sorry for calling you villains. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really touching moment. And it like, you know, you gotta, you know, it, it sometimes you forget, especially with animated features and stuff and maybe it's a little little easier sometimes when you're dealing with live action but like yeah these are just students they're just kids trying to figure stuff out they're going through a lot they got a lot going on let's see um but yeah overall my Hero Academia rules. That was the point of that, right? Yeah, that is just a, that is a fun episode. Like the the episodes of them like training and, and working on their styles and stuff, and and you can see the characters getting their outfits upgraded. It's cool. Test stuff is fun. Ms. Jokes a, a fun character. All right. We are almost done with this kit. God damn it. Uh, and then I'm going to start. Yeah. Uh, I'll finish this up. But we are almost done. The Too Many Sticker Project is almost completed. I do have it. Like I said, I have a Lego set. Here's the thing. I think I'm going to put a poll up for my $10 patrons because I haven't done that this month. Really. And let them decide what I'm going to do next. I've got a Lego set to build. But it's a three-in-one, so that's an investment in time. But cool, I think. Those are cool kits. Uh, so we could do that. 
I've got um, a uh, I've got a um, uh, oh uh, I have Go Tanks Super Saiyan Go Tanks so I have a figure rise kit for Dragon Ball and then like I said I have that Gundam kit coming which will be here uh, e by Thursday so I'm going to put a poll up tomorrow for my patrons and let them decide what I should do next. Uh, my $10 patrons get to vote. Uh, I do not read the manga, Christian. Um, I, uh, I'm certainly interested in it, uh, but uh, I, I have not been keeping up with that. I don't. I read a few things. One piece I read uh, because there was a long break, but... Um, and then... Uh, I, I started reading Ari Fuerta and I need to finish that because I was so disappointed with where the show was, where the anime was going. And I started reading the manga and it's, it's better. It's still not great. Some of it's better. Some of it is not better. Some of it, they fucking figured it out. All right. So, uh oh, okay. Yeah. And then this goes on here. Yeah. That's it. That's every sticker for this dang kit done. The water options. I think this this one's better, I think, on its stand instead of in the water. Uh, the Christmas stuff. This chapter was good. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I do want to. I want to. I want to read Black Clover because I think that's that's a that would be a fun read. Uh, that looks like a cool story. Uh, the the manga, like what's going on there, that looks like it would be fun to read. Uh, I like the anime. Uh, but yeah, there's a few shows that I, I'm like, oh, I might want to read these manga. I just don't. One Piece is kind of the only thing I do because there was a just a point where I just wanted to get ahead of the story. Anyway, let's see. Uh, that's it. That's going to do it. Uh, I am going to end the stream a little earlier than normal. Um, because we did finish this. And like I said, I want to give my $10 patrons the option to vote on what I build next. Uh, these kits were very fun. This one and the Thousand Sunny, uh, were fun kits to build. Uh, I really enjoyed working on them. Um, you know, they were, they're more basically a high grade. They're small. Uh, but it had a lot of stickers, but I think they have a lot of personality. Uh, it's fun to work on uh, some different, you know, working on uh, dry transfer, water transfers, and lots of stickers and getting things right and messing up here and there. Um, I think it's still a, it's still at the end of the day a fun kit that I was happy to to work on. Um, and then, like I said, on Thursday, I'll be back. Uh, reminder, this Saturday, I'll be streaming at uh, a later time, uh, or earlier time, 6 p.m. Eastern instead of 9 p.m. Eastern. So this Saturday will be 6 p.m. Eastern to 8 p.m. Eastern because uh, I am covering a shift. Uh, so I will be going in early to work. Uh, so I, it's a stream before I normally would. On Saturday, I apologize for that. But... Um, the theater that I work two, two times a week at is going dark at the end of September for some of August. So I'm losing a shift there and that way I can get it back and kind of balance things out. Um, so, so yeah. And then I'm, I don't know. Uh, oh, Wednesday, Wednesday at 9 PM Eastern time. Why did I not tell you this Wednesday at 8 PM or sorry, Wednesday, Wednesday, two nights from now, 9 PM Eastern. I will be here singing i'm gonna do another twitch sing stream i really enjoy twitch sings it's been a while i want to check some songs out i'll do some duets it will probably be two hours uh i just haven't done it in a while and uh i enjoy it so i'm gonna do that uh so thanks so much uh for hanging out here um you know since we ended a little early Aristophan, ha happy to have you hi Aristophan. uh since we did early let's raid someone uh, we don't raid that often. Um, uh, we don't raid that well, often. Um, hey, it's me. You just heard me because I went to go to see my followed channels to see who was on. Uh, let's see. 
yeah let's um we're gonna go and uh we're gonna raid my friend kate uh kate stark is streaming borderlands 3 so we're gonna raid kate uh because i think that'll be fun uh thanks all everybody for watching the stream and let's go and do that uh because that's fun and cool uh Kate rules. I don't know anything about Borderlands 3. Some of it sounds not great. Some of it sounds just fine. I like that Sung Wan and it also Cho and also uh, Ice T are in it. That's weird. But yeah, we'll go do that. Uh, bye, everybody. Have a great one.